since the first Friday problem, uh, problem two, was so easy, let's go ahead and do problem three. Problem two dealt just with the expected values. Problem three is going to deal with the actual chi-squared goodness of fit test. So here's the problem, and again, mine will be different from yours, most likely. Now we could open this up in um, StatCrunch, or we could actually work through it in Excel. Um, not sure which is going to be best, but let's go ahead and do StatCrunch while we're at it. I'm going to click on that, open it up in StatCrunch, and see what we have. It's always a good start. Get the data into StatCrunch. Now, this may be helpful, may not be, but we'll find out. Null hypothesis is, is that they're all equally likely in terms of their outcomes. That's what the expected values say. Expected number of A's is 40, expected number of B's is 40, expected number of C's is 40, expected number of D's is 40. We observed 36 A's, 44 B's, 42 C's, 38 D's. So we need to calculate the test statistic. Well, the formula for the test statistic is this. It's the sum of, and this big sigma indicates summing up over all of the cells, what you observe minus what you expect squared and then divide by what you expect. So for instance, in this case, that comes down to observed minus expected squared over expected. 36 minus 40 is negative 4, squared is 16, divided by 40, plus 44 minus 40, squared over 40, plus 42 minus 40, squared over 40, plus 38 minus 40, squared over 40. So 16 plus 16 plus 4 plus 4 over 40. That comes out to be 16, and 16 is 32, plus 4 plus 4 is 40, divided by 40 is 1. Let's see if we can do that in StatCrunch. We'll go ahead and call this just the difference between observed and expected. We'll call this column the square of that. This caret, this kind of halfway up arrow, is square is the is means to the power of. So to the power of two will give us the square. Now all we have to do is add these all up to get forty. So the test statistic is forty divided by forty, which is one. Degrees of freedom for a chi squared goodness of fit test is the number of observations minus one. There's four observations or four groups. You can think of this maybe in terms of groups. A, B, C, D, four groups. Four minus one is three. Critical value. Critical value, we're going to hop back over here to stat crunch. We're going to go into stat calculators. Remember, we have the ability to calculate random variables in stat crunch and it's the chi-squared, hence the chi-squared goodness of fit test. And this is nice because it shows us what the chi-squared looks like. Degrees of freedom is 3. We want the probability of greater than or equal to. And we're told it's 1. Compute. There we go. So the critical value is hmm. so the critical value is calculated in a different way what we calculated here is the p-value critical value 0 0.95 because it's 1 minus alpha so the critical value is 0.3518 I'm sorry it's 0 0.05 because that's our alpha level so our critical value is 7.814 and round to three decimal places. 7.815. And now should the null hypothesis be rejected? 
Here's the rejection region. It's everything greater than that 7.814275. We observed a 1. 1 is less than our critical value. So no, because what we observe is less than our critical value. And that was it. Hopefully this was helpful. Again, notice that we can do this in StatCrunch. Sometimes we may need to do some calculations in our heads. Sometimes we can just do this in StatCrunch. And of course, we can do this completely within StatCrunch without going through all the calculations by hand. We're going to go into Stat, Goodness of Fit, Chi-squared Test, and then what pops up is we need to specify which column is for observed, which is for expected. These two we're not going to be bothered with. Calculate. So what does it pop up? It gives us sample size, degrees of freedom, the value of the test statistic, and the p-value. Now notice this will not be helpful specifically for this question. For this question, we're asked to calculate the critical or determine the critical value. Um, this does not give you the critical value. The only way that you can get the critical value from StatCrunch is through Stat, Calculators, Chi-squared, Specified Degrees of Freedom, 0.05, compute, oops, sorry, change the direction, 0 0.05, compute. But if you are interested only in testing the null hypothesis, that what you observe, the distribution of what you observe is equal to the distribution of what you expected, this will give you the p-value, 0.8013. Again, because p is greater than alpha, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. In this case, that indicates that we do not, we cannot conclude that our hypothesized uh, distribution is wrong. We cannot conclude that the four outcomes are equally likely. So while StatCrunch is good for calculating p-values, if you need to use the other method, like to calculate the critical value, as in this problem, you'll have to actually go through and do all the calculations by hand. Hopefully this was helpful. Take care of yourselves. Bye.